Hello everyone and welcome to this reading. So I've just done an almost personal reading on Pixie Power Tarot using the beautiful movie Tarot. And I've just enjoyed it so much, I'm going to do one on here. So if you want to know about your journey and what you need to know now, then click over to Pixie Power Tarot and watch that reading. It will give you great insight. But I'm going to do this now and see what comes through. So more than likely, this will be for your twin flame journey, but it may cover something else. So just set the intention, what do you need to know in this moment? So thank you for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So let's do this then. So thank you, angels. What does everyone need to know right now, please? What does everyone need to know right now in this moment? So I'm doing a Celtic cross spread. I'm taking the cards out as I'm guided to, okay? Okay, they're just telling me, yeah, they're telling me do it that way, okay? I have to do what I'm told. So that's the card. Okay, I get the cards coming out. Sometimes two come out, sometimes one, depending on the area and what we need to be focusing on. Very, very powerful. Here we go. Okay, so the reason that you're asking the question, the reason we're here, the reason we're doing this reading is, you know, maybe right now you're asking for what you want. Maybe you've seen results, maybe you aren't seeing results, but you've got a vision of what you want in your mind. And I feel this is also about the pathway becoming clear. This is about thinking about the past, reviewing the past and working out what you want. And this is also a card of reunion. So maybe you're thinking, will we come back together? Is everything working out for me? And I'm seeing this as like a pathway or like a roadway or a road where, you know, you're being shown the next steps for the journey. So is this path falling into place? Is everything working out for me? I feel that's the message coming through. And we've got the five of cups. So, you know, let go of any fear. You know, they're just giving me fear. So take a moment to think about your journey and to think how far you've come and how powerful you are and how strong you are and all the good things you've got in your life. So this is about focusing on the good things, not the bad things, and realizing that even when the rain comes down, you are being cleansed. You know, even when there seems to be a storm going on, you are learning, you are growing, you are understanding, you're finding your way, you're starting to see, you know, you're growing up spiritually, you're ascending, you're realizing your truth. So you're being shown that you matter. And that you are real in this moment and that you are powerful and strong. So focus on the good things in your life and you'll learn to dance in the rain. Because that's really what the journey is all about. You know, focusing on what is here now, in the here and now, that you are safe and loved and protected. And that God is your source and you will have what's meant for you. So it's not about worrying about the past that's gone stressing over and it wishing you could change it or stressing over and being anxious about the future that hasn't yet occurred it's about being in the now and observing your journey in the now trusting that it's all falling into place and the reason we're asking the question is is this going to resurrect so the ten of swords is resurrection you know rebirth healing you get knocked down you go through the struggles but you get back up so the energy around this reading is, are we ever going to come together? Will we reconcile? Will it work out? Is the rain worth it? Okay. Will I feel better? Maybe you feel bad right now and you're wondering if it's ever going to get better. Well, you are being reborn and I feel this cloud is the one we carry around. Okay. A bit like Olaf in Frozen. You know, he has that cloud above his head and that cloud is bringing the snow in so he remains frozen so he doesn't melt because he's a snowman and the angel saying to you what cloud is above your head right now because you create that cloud by the thoughts you think and the way you feel and the way you allow outside circumstances or external events or things that people say affect you and everything is neutral so you have the power now to change that rain cloud if that's what you feel is coming down into a sunny day because you always take the weather with you. And there's a song, you know, I always take the weather with you. So take the weather with you. Remember this, you are the sky and everything else is the weather. And when you are the sky, you can handle anything. So this is really the message saying to you, you can handle anything. You were born for this. Okay, God would not give you any challenge that you cannot master or overcome. So remember your power. So if you're walking around right now with a rain cloud over you and you're feeling negative and down and you're feeling like you can't go on, 
flip the switch. Okay, you have the power to turn off that rain and turn on the sun. And Archangel Michael, the angel of protection, strength and power, will give you that power, allowing you to feel better, calm and more at peace with your journey, stronger. Like you can do this because you can. Remembering that you wouldn't be given anything you couldn't handle. And when God closes a door, he always opens a window. So opportunities are flowing in. So what's coming into your immediate future? Reunion, celebration, happy times, the three of cups. And I feel that when you turn that cloud around, you know, when you decide to make it a, a sunny day instead of a cloudy day or a rainy day or even, you know, a stormy day, then you feel good. So this is you feeling better and that allows things to flow in. That opens the door for reunion. It opens the door for magic, for celebrations in your life. And that's because of you. You are the empress. You are powerful and strong. And, you know, I see this card like Mary, Queen of Scots. Somebody who's very strong, resilient, powerful. You know what you want. You know how to get it. Trust. And the red colour is connected with divine timing, trusting the timing of your life. It's also connected with your power, you know, your regal energy. This is about you being you. And knowing that you have that stuff in your hand and that support. So you have all the support you need. What's coming in is the page of swords. And this is the divine masculine speaking the truth. I'm going to do the characters at the end, okay? We're going to go through the characters at the end because this is the movie tarot. But I feel this is strength, power, understanding. This is the divine masculine acting quickly. Okay, needing to speak their truth. This is if there's any delayed communication, any silence, any quietness going on. The masculines are preparing what to say. They're working this out. You know, they're understanding this on a deeper level. What can I say right now? Okay, what words will work for this connection? I don't want to hurt the divine feminine. She's my one or he's my one. You know, he sees you as the empress. And I feel this is very cutting edge. You know, this card you can see in you know the way he's dressed and what he's wearing so there could be some 80s energy here as well you know but i'm seeing this as strength and power maybe you're looking at that and you see that as your divine masculine you know maybe you see that as their you know higher self or the way they are being guided to strip themselves bare to take off their mask you know to release themselves from anything they're holding on to you know to let go so coming into the future the angel is showing you've got the two of coins. So this is balance. So this is how you see your situation. That right now you are balancing your emotion. You know, that you are balancing, that you do experience both feminine and masculine energy alike. That you understand things. That you are growing. That things are falling into place. And we've got the death card for the rebirth. So you understand on a deeper level that your masculine is healing. You know, that they are growing. That they are understanding. And that they are ready to show off their truth to you know, be reborn into who they are. So there's a lot of rebirth going on here, endings, new beginnings, karmic endings, releasing things toxic to the soul, things that strip you down to the core of who you are. And we've got the ten of coins. So you're thinking, is it going to happen? You know, am I going to have my happy ever after? Will that come in? Will that ship be available to me? And the ace of coins are saying, yes, it's happening now. It's moving forward now. And the Hierophant is reminding you it's for your spiritual growth. And the outcome, look at this, beautiful. We've got the two of cups, which is the love and the partnership, and the nine of cups, which is the wish card. I mean, you couldn't ask for better cards than that. So the angels are saying to you, don't give up on this journey. It's moving forward. Remember, the message of this reading is be the sky. You are the sky. Everything else is the weather. If you're walking around with a negative rain cloud, change it into the sun because your dreams are coming true. The life of your dreams is manifesting. The relationship that you seek is coming. That union, that partnership with your one. You know, it's meant to be. It's forever. And you have a telepathic bond anyway. And you will be friends united in love. So it's not just going to be a love connection. It's going to be the whole caboodle. You know, it's going to be love, friendship, passion, excitement, marriage, commitment, family, whatever you want. You know, you have the power. You have the power to create your destiny any way you want it to be. But you must believe, believe in the power of love. So we've got the Hierophant, we've got the Ace of Coins, the Page of Swords, 
uh, is that all of them? And the Death Card and the Empress. So these are obviously movie characters. So I want to look into this a bit deeper, okay? So who do I see when I'm connecting with this? And then we're going to see who it is because obviously I don't know who all these people are. But we've got here, I feel that this is Mary, Queen of Scots, all that energy. You know, someone powerful and strong. This is obviously the Empress energy. So this is kind of relating to the Divine Feminine. So let's see who it actually is, okay? Who it actually is in the book. Okay, I never read the guidebooks. You understand why when you see me looking because I can't find anything ever. I prefer to use my intuition. But the Empress, oh, it's Cleopatra. Wow. Okay, so I'm seeing that as someone very powerful. And obviously Cleopatra was very powerful. You know, when she bathed in milk, which made her youthful. So I feel this is also the Divine Feminine being very youthful. And this is Elizabeth Taylor. And, you know, it's really powerful because Elizabeth Taylor, you know, is a very, a very strong woman. You know, I mean, she actually changed her religion for her husband. You know, so this is also a sign of love conquering all. So I feel this big message about love conquering all. It's about youthful energy, your youthful appearance. You know, that you don't need to bathe in milk to feel youthful because you already are so this is the power of the divine feminine you know that energy that just flows out of you it's reborn in you it's you being you your power your grace you know that you are a strong woman elizabeth taylor a strong woman you know so you being this strong dynamic woman that you can overcome anything and if you're a guy you know you know your power your feminine side is your power we've got for the divine masculine here the page of swords and I'm really tuning in with that as the Divine Masculine, okay? Not the actual energy of the card. So let's see what the Page of Swords means. So I'm going to go to the Swords energy. Who is this person? Okay, who is it? Who is it? So Page, Page. So we've got Page. Um, we've got... Okay, is that Joseph Fiennes? Rob, okay, it's definitely not, is it, it's either, okay, Robert De Niro in Taxi Driver, or it's Josie Fiennes in Shakespeare in Love, okay, well, I have no idea, because I haven't seen either of them films, okay, but I'm actually seeing, like, I'm seeing this as, like, powerful, they show me this purple energy, like Archangel Jeremiah, helping them to review their life, because this is like Amethyst Crystal, you know, releasing any anxiety, being healed, you know, all the fears being stripped away so they can speak their truth. And obviously got a sword on his back and that's the sword of truth. That's the sword that cuts obstacles out of the way, that ends any karmic ties, that releases things. And they show me this like a Mohican. Okay, it possibly isn't, but that's what they show me like. And I feel that's a sign of individuality, you know, finally being who you're meant to be, speaking your truth, being you, stepping away from the crowd being authentic, being yourself. So I feel this is a big sign of the masculine taking control, you know, stepping into their power, stepping into their truth. And then we've got the death card, which is the journey. So this is obviously about the rebirth, okay? The endings of the old life for the new one to begin. It's about the way we transform, the way we grow, the way we strip ourselves bare, you know, the way we release ourselves from all the many layers, you know, the layers of the past, who we were to become who we are and who we're born to be. So we grow and evolve. So who is this? Obviously, this is a death god. He's holding a scythe there. He's got a hoodie on. So who is this? You know, who is this in the death card? Let's see. Okay, I love this movie deck. It's so cool. So for the death card then, <clears throat> let's find it. The death card, where are you? There it is. We've got, oh, wow, it's Jake Gyllenhaal as Donnie Darko, wow, well, I've never seen Donnie Darko, and I know so many of you are going to say, what, you've never seen Donnie Darko, I know I need to see that, obviously, I know what it looks like when you see it on the pictures and stuff, but this is about transformation, okay, that may resonate with you, the name Jake, or even Jake Gyllenhaal himself, you know, in films he's been in, maybe this film resonates with you, but this is about the rebirth, leaving behind the old self or the old journey, to be reborn into this new journey, the, the new self, you know, walking around with this powerful kind of cloud of love around you, you know, knowing that you were supported forever. And we've got the Ace of Coins, and this symbolizes things opening up, doors opening, magic flowing in. Who is that then? Again, I've got no idea who that is. Okay, the Ace of Coins. 
So the Ace of Coins, who is this person? Okay, who is this person? The Ace of Coins, is he going to tell me? The Ace of Coins. May not even say who it is. Okay, I'm just going for the pictures here. The Ace of Coins. I don't think there is a person on here. I don't think it tells me who it actually is. I don't think it says. Let me see if I've missed one. I don't think I have. Let me have a look. That's the death card. Where is it here? Okay, yeah, I can't see a picture for this person. Okay, so perhaps that's just showing you to relax and breathe, to trust. And what they are actually showing me in this card intuitively, I'm seeing this as a mask falling off. Okay, because when it's here and I'm looking at it, it looks like part of his face is deformed. So that's very much like the Phantom of the Opera. You know, the Phantom of the Opera, he, he feels afraid. So I feel this is also healing insecurity, healing any fear of the way that you look, the way you are. And I feel that's also what the masculine goes through. So that's about the mask coming off, you know, being authentic, being vulnerable, a lot like this card, being your true self, not being afraid of the consequences, you know, acting anyway no matter what, following your heart anyway, no matter what. And then we've got the Hierophant, and I feel that's Marlon Brando, okay? That looks like Marlon Brando to me, very powerful guy, you know, this is like mafia orientated. So again, things can get in the way. So this could be a karmic situation too that enhances your spiritual growth. So let's look up the Hierophant and see who it is, okay? The Hierophant here. Okay, let's have a look. Hierophant, Marlon Brando, as Vito Corleone in The Godfather. Wow, well, obviously, The Godfather is power. And remember that God is your father. Okay, you have a creator, whoever you believe in up there. You know, so this is about the higher power watching over you and that you are protected and safe. And, you know, obviously, The Godfather, a very rich person. So this is reminding you that, you know, you are rich in all things to be grateful. So take from the movies whatever message resonates with you there but I feel this is a big sign of change development spiritually you know stepping into authentic truth speaking the truth standing up for yourself and that brings in a rebirth energy that opens the door to this new beginning and that's absolutely what's flowing in I hope this helps have a great day sending you so much love and I'll see you soon